Lapli ya ka booking nak benta ka kali Tata Nexon. Wan ka Frank Motors Lightco, nani phone hau number harum, man pip company. Wemele ka liang persha jong Voice of the People's Party VPP uba Alba Nongrum haka sngis dang jong Dorbar Sunrai ula wanra da ka motion of amendment ya ka rai ka business advisory committee ka Ying Dorbar bandawa badai man penjalan ya ki sngi penlong Dorbar namar unumla banya kren ya ki babuan ki mat tang hapo san sngi uba Albert ulong ba ka jing ai tang ar sngi ki emeli liang persha banra ya ki mat kala jindong palat padu lakentu yu lampang u Thomas e sangma Pan penjalan ya ke sengi long door bar. Ya ke nega motion la kersan ru do presiden ke VPP uba Arden M. Basai moin. Haba juba bahalor ke ne usimbun menteri rangba jong ke jela uba presiden tinsong. Uba pet ya ke tanat parliamentary affairs. Ulo ang ba ke business advisory committee ke la ya tai sani ya ke sengi. Bat ke la rai ru maman ke sengi long door bar la ban penjalan arne lai kenta la da don ki mat ba don kamban ya ter. Ula kentu wiki emeli liang persha, ban umra lang kiju kimat, namar bakan penserwakai ya kepor. Hadian kini uba Albert ula weng no ya kini ke motion. Mr. Speaker, sir, before I move the motion amendment, the location of time, I seek leave to present a short submission as allowed in the rules 231. Shall I? I, I did not hear you. Can you please? Thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir. You have announced to this August House the report of the Business Advisory Committee on allocation of time. As a member of the Assembly, we have received an advance from the Assembly Secretary at the calendar for a term session, and I have been very unhappy on seeing the calendar. The allocation of five working days is too short especially when government convene assembly only twice a year and given only two days to private members business is not enough when there are so many pressing issues concerning the state mr speaker sir please let me cite a few important issues just so this legislature is made aware of what is happening in the state of meghalaya Ranking of the state as per national index on poverty and education is the lowest in the entire country. The manis of drugs and how are we fighting it? Student concern on the national education policy. The cry of our educated youth who are not gainful, gainfully employed. Loopholes in methodology for state quota seat of MBPS. Parliament Amendment to the Forest Conservation Act, disruption of environmental public hearing for expansion of cement factory in East Giant Hills, high-handedness of police in public protests, continuing embroglio on Tamato, the question of funding for Shillong Cherry Blossom Festival. So with deep concern, I ask, can these burning issue and many more which directly affect the common people of the state be sufficiently addressed in just five days of house sitting? Why such an attempt to restrict length of session? What is the underlying agenda? A short assembly is nothing less than a murder of democracy. Now, I am aware of the norm that every report table in the House before it is put to vote is allowed an opportunity to be discussed. Therefore, under Rule 231 of the, rule of the Rules of Procedure and Conduct of Business, I move a motion for amendment to the allocation of time table proposed by the Business Advisory Committee. The motion that I am putting forward it is the allocation of five working days with only two days for private members' business. It's too short a time for legislature to do justice to the many pressing issues concerning the state that require the attention of this August House, which meets only twice a year. Sir, 
in the interest of the beloved people of our respective constituency who have voted for us to speak in this assembly, I move that the report on the location of timetable be referred back to the Business Advisory Committee for consideration on the concern and recommendation raised by participating members at this House discussion. So, personally, I am of the opinion that the, uh, that the allocation of time for private members' business should be extended to us many days as government business and that the calendar for private members' business should not be scheduled on a Friday where house sitting conclude at 12 noon. With these few words, Mr. Speaker, sir, I thank you once again for allowing me to move this motion for amendment. I resume my seat to allow other honorable members who may wish to speak on this very same motion. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir. Thank you. Any members wish to participate? Yes, please. So, uh, so, I also rise to support the motion moved by the Honorable Member from North Shillong uh, as far as the allocation of time is concerned. So, we are informed that the government does not have much business, which is why the number of days is being uh, decided to be five days only. However, sir, as members of the opposition, we know that this is too short a time for us to raise many important issues concerning the state and its people. Uh, over and above that, uh, most of the members belonging to the Treasury bench also, they are actively participated in the assembly proceedings. So it is very difficult for us, therefore, sir, to find a space to raise many important issues. I've just gone through the start question that have been listed here, which is supposed to be taken up on the 19th. Your officer has listed up to 60 questions. And personally, I've submitted 20 questions to be discussed in this other house, which are very important issues for the people of the state. But I know that I'll be able to get only one out of the 60, and the rest may, get, may not even get to discuss their issues, sir. So, sir, what I feel is that it would be, uh, you know, in the best interest of the people that the House is sitting more days and the timing is increasing so that we can dispose, at least if not, all the issues that uh, we are supposed to raise, but 70, 80 persons should be able to be disposed and discussed and raised in this August House. So, so there are many issues which we have to, uh, you know, request the people that we will not be able. So much of issues have already been uh, uh, brought forward by the public since we are in the opposition. Maybe the members belonging to the Treasury, they are not getting uh, that much of request from the public. There is problem everywhere. So if this is not the place where we can discuss and raise and suggest the government, because we are here as the opposition to, to criticize the government constructively with the expectation that the government will take serious note of those criticism so that we can really take the step forward. So, sir, I would strongly support the motion moved by the honorable member. And if uh, the House feels that this is the right place for us to discuss issues. May I request you to kindly consider the motion, sir. If there's no more members willing to participate, now I give time to Deputy Chief Minister in charge of parliamentary affairs to reply, please. Uh, Mr. Speaker, sir. At the outset, I am so thankful to Mr. Adelbert Norum, who has brought the amendment under the Rule 231 for revis revisiting again 
the allocation of time proposed by the BAC held under your chairmanship, sir. Yes, sir, I understand the concern of the member, including Ba Aden Masalmoit, who has also supported the motion. In fact, that day when we had the BAC, we have already discussed all the details with all the members concerned. Number one, we fix it for five days session. And number two, during these five days session, under your wisdom, sir, we said we can extend two, three hours in every sitting if necessary. So that is the decision we have taken. So I calculated more or less if every day we extended maybe two or three hours. So five days, it's more or less more than one day sitting that we have. So on the basis of that, of course I understand even the issues raised by the honorable members, it's so important. The only point here I would like to request especially from the honourable members from the opposition side, while submitting the issues, it would be appropriate if they sit down together. Because I've seen it, you know, the, be it the question, be it the motion, be it the resolution, be it the special motion, or be it zero or notice, it overlapping. The same subject, again, one member submitted. We replied, honestly, you know, that time was just wasted. So if they have this kind of discussion well before time, well coordination is be be before time, nothing like it, where they can submit, and even your good officer can regulate accordingly, where we can really take up those important issues. Because as I said to you, I've seen it, even the motion. Those important motions, it is, you know, maybe it gets lapsed before we are able to take it up. Why? Because other motions, other motions was already listed for that particular day. So this is the, what's happening, sir. And as I said to you, sir, uh, for this autumn session, in fact, the BEC has already had a detailed discussion about uh, all the issues. Therefore, accordingly, we decided to uh, recommend to the House for allocation of time proposed by the BEC. So this is my uh, clarification, sir, and I would like to request your, uh, again, your chair, sir, to again go ahead and approve the proposed allocation of time. Thank you. <clears throat> May I know the mind of the mover whether he will withdraw his amendment motion? Sir, thank you once again. May I have one more submission before you? Uh, let's <coughs> accept the fact that the mistake from the part of BEC. They had already scheduled the time, uh, I mean the business calendar. Then, from after the last date submission, maybe after one week, how can it be possible? Because of that, it created confusion. And because of that, moreover, the BSE, they should, uh, they should consider our, uh, uh, our request. So we don't uh, feel that it is important for each and everyone to extend the house, maybe more days, one or two, but I strongly appeal to you, Mr. Speaker, sir, that kindly extend the time to such an hour to complete the business of the day. No. Okay, I will withdraw my motion. You wish to withdraw? Yes, sir. Thank you. 